Do you struggle with your 80 yard shots? Most people do. This one's over water and we're gonna fix you up so that you can handle these shots whoo, with absolute confidence. Step number one is this. Just because you can reach 80 yards with your most lofted wedge doesn't mean you should be doing that. And if there's water, and I know I can get over the water, but you know, sometimes you just clip it a little thin. Oh my gosh. And uh, disaster awaits. So first and foremost, do not under any circumstance, well, most circumstances, do not use your most lofted wedge for the short shots. It's not necessary at all. And not only do I not use my most lofted wedge, many times I don't use my second most lofted wedge. I'll even go to not my lob wedge, not my sandwich. I'll go to my gap wedge for these types of shots just because you're gonna have much better, more consistent results more often. And it's a lot easier to take a shorter swing that's much more controlled. I mean, I can do that all day long and so can you. When I take my little wedge shot, I want everything in control. I want to be right in here. I want to be tight to my body. You want to be in here. You're holding the football. You're holding a, a ball. You're holding a baby. You're holding something, your beer. You're holding your beer right here. No one could get it, right? And this is where we want to be. This is where we have tons of control over our body, over our rotation, over everything is right in here. We want the exact same feeling with this wedge, with these little shots. We want to be in tight to our body right here. This is where I can control everything. I'm not going for maximum distance here. This is a driver move here. I want to be right in here, right in here. So with that mindset, my first step is when I take it back, I want to keep it in, not extension out here. I don't need that with my wedge because that creates early release. It creates a lot of you know, uncertainty. So I really want to keep that, almost feel like you're collapsing it in here. And that's the little drill you want, just right in here. Because if you're here in the backswing, you can extend on your forward swing. And that will allow you to get that shaft a little bit ahead of the club head and then release and have maximum control. Break it down here. I don't even mind if there's a little bend in your elbow right here right in here, because it will unbend as you hit the shot. Just practice that little drill for that. Break it down, full release. Tight, release. Tight, release. So after working that little drill for a little while, you're gonna be amazed at how easy these shots are and how much your confidence really grows hitting these. And the third piece of this that really plagues a lot of people is this. What happens is we get on these little shots and we, for some strange reason, because it's such a short little swing, we forget to turn our body, we forget to rotate. And we do the things right and we just kind of stay down in it like that. And we hit these little flippers and you're gonna need flippers to play that second shot. How do we avoid not rotating on these little shots? So as soon as you feel like that elbow hits your belly and you start to extend, I really want you to start pushing off that right foot to your toe right there. So many people do that early and it causes this move, which we don't want. But if you wait just a little bit and feel the release and then your toe, it's gonna force your body to rotate out of the way. So I'm really hitting, and then from here, pushing that toe. Pushing on that toe, so it looks something like this. Who go in. I like to wait too. Right there when I feel it, then I do it. Then I just feel I'm pushing up on that toe, like so. And it forces your hips open, and it forces your shoulders 
to rotate through because remember, you're gonna be extending with your hands from the previous drill. And so if you do that, it will sync up all together and you'll have great looking shots and you won't have to worry about your weight, where it is, it'll all be in the right place. It's really that simple. We just make it way, way too complicated. Do those three things and your Inside 100 game will be awesome. Love you guys. See you in the next video.